This week on Brand New Vegan, we're making sweet potato chili. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, this is Chuck from Brand New Vegan. We're going to make some sweet potato chili. So I have a couple of sweet potatoes, the, the orange kind. And we're not going to peel them, but we're going to cut off the sides and make everything flat. That way they don't roll around on your cutting board. Because these are hard to cut. And we don't want anything rolling around and being unstable. Any accidents, any cut fingers. So that's why. Cut them into strips. And then cut them into cubes. Hopefully a little bit more even size than mine and toss them in a bowl. That liquid, we're not going to use oil, is the juice from a can of black beans. We're going to use them anyway, so might as well use the juice. It's called aquafaba in the vegan world. And that's going to help these spices, that smoked paprika and that salt, to stick. Then we're going to toss all this together. Throw it on a baking sheet with parchment paper. Not as messy as me, I hope. And uh, spread everything out. And we're going to roast these in the oven for 20 minutes, 400 degrees. I'm using my Cuisinart. I'll put a link down below if that's something you're interested in. A lot of people have asked me. It's an air fryer too, but I'm using the broil function. It's actually a convection broil. But 400 degrees, 20 minutes, and they come out like that. Now we're going to take an onion, dice it up. We're going to let those sweet potatoes cool. They're done. The reason we roast them, if we don't, when we throw that in the stew, in the chili, because we roasted them and we kind of toughen up those sides, they'll retain their shape. Otherwise, they kind of get mushy in the, in the chili. We don't want that. So we're gonna peel the skin off our onions. We'll slice down the middle. Some vertical slices like that. Leave that root intact, it holds it all together. And then turn it and you got a nice dice. We're going to dice up the whole onion. Toss that in our Dutch oven or a big pot. I love my Dutch oven. I use it a lot. Then we're going to do the same thing with a red bell pepper. I cut off the top. The insides are easy to scoop out. Get all that white membrane stuff out of there, the seeds. Cut it in half, cut them into rings, then a fine dice. And you can use orange, a red bell pepper, orange red bell pepper. You can use an orange bell pepper or a yellow or green. I like the red, a little bit sweeter. Mix all that up. Now for a liquid, we can use water. We could use veg broth. We're not using oil, but again, why not use that aquafaba? We're gonna drain it off anyway, right? So that's what I used. Stir that all up. It's just to keep the veggies from sticking. That's all. A little garlic. Some jalapenos. They're tame. If you don't like them, leave them out. But I love jalapenos. A little cumin and a little oregano, and a little chili powder. This is not as spicy as my best damn vegan chili recipe ever. So if you like a little milder chili, try this. In go the tomatoes. I'm using organic. Use what you got. Give it a stir, add a little water, about a cup, 
And I'll have all the ingredients, all the exact amounts in the blog post below. A little masa. I like masa harina. That's tamale flour, corn flour. If you can't find it, you can use cornmeal. It helps thicken it. A little sweetener. I'm using molasses. Again, use agave, use sugar, brown sugar, whatever you got. And a little cocoa. Unsweetened cocoa. In go the beans. We're going to let that boil for about half an hour. Then you add the beans. They're drained. If you have salted beans, you can rinse them first, then drain it. But mine were no salt added, so I just drained them only. Add your beans, add those sweet potatoes that have now cooled. And that is sweet potato chili. It was so easy, so good. A little bit different from my other recipe, but like I said, it's a little milder. Some of you might like it. And that's it. Just serve it up. Garnish it with whatever you like. I got some green onion, some cilantro. Um, my cheese sauce is really good on that. And that is the recipe for the week. If you liked the recipe, give me a thumbs up and uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll be back next week and we'll do this all over again. Again, this is Chuck from Brand New Vegan. Thanks for watching.